Hey, it's Gavin Syme here with Syme Effects and Photographic School. I want to do a quick video for you guys today and just take a peek at changing the identity plate in Lightroom. Not super complicated, but I thought, let's take a quick look at this so we know the dimensions and the ins and outs. You may have Lightroom. In this case, I'm in Lightroom 5, and it has this default uh, get started with Lightroom Mobile, or it might have the generic identity plate. Bottom line is you click this little drop down, you go to change identity plate. And then you can select what you want, the default Lightroom, the Lightroom Mobile, or the personalized, which is what we're after here. Now, there's a couple things you can do. You can just type your name in here and put it in there, set your font size, etc. Or you can get a little more custom, which is what I prefer to do, and use a graphical identity plate, in which case we need to find a file. Now, what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to pop over into Photoshop, and we're going to make that file just so you can see how to do it, because oftentimes what I find is the tutorials and videos on this forget to talk about what you need to make. What you want is a file that's about 50 pixels high and roughly around 400 pixels wide, depending on how far out you want it across the top of the screen, you can actually go wider. But the main thing is your height. You can't have too much height on there. So I'm just gonna make this file and just have a blank file and I'm actually going to double click the background I'm in Photoshop right here, but you can use really any editor you want, okay? All I'm going to do is drop my logo in here. And I do have the logo pre-prepared. I'm going to put the logo. And yes, it looks a little pixelated because this is a fairly low-res file. So I'm going to drop that logo, and I'm also going to put in the logo for Photographic School. And I've got this roughly 50 pixel high by 400 wide file. Okay, so there's my file right there. That's all there is to it. I'm going to save it now. And I'm just going to put it, uh, I store things like this on a Dropbox. So I have them handy when I'm working in different locations. So I'm just going to call this Lightroom ID plate. And I'm going to save it. Let's get rid of Photoshop, hop back to Lightroom. Now you see right here, it says locate file. And I'm just gonna browse. It looks like it's already in the right folder, but I would just browse to that, click on the folder, on the image rather, that I just made. And what I've done is just made it in a PSD so I can go back and save it later because Lightroom will see that layered PSD file. So I can go alter this at any time. I'm gonna choose it and there you go. Now you see the top of it is cut off in uh, this version of Lightroom where it has the Lightroom mobile status bar up there, you can see this little checkbox, show status and activity. If you want that status bar there, you actually wanna make your identity plate about 40 pixels high. In this case, I don't care about the status bar, so I'm gonna uncheck it, and then it shows my full 50 pixel image right there at the top. Uh, you can also, while you're in here, change the fonts and stuff for the module inside Lightroom. I switched those to Helvetica because I like the, the look of Helvetica. So that's all there is to it. And at that point, you can just click OK and you've got your new identity plate. And of course, you can pop back over into here and change that whenever you want. Now, one thing worth noting, let's go back to Photoshop here. You may have noticed I mentioned that your width can be whatever you want. If I go to canvas size, which is Alt or Option, Command and C, I can change this. Let me switch it to pixels. I'm gonna increase the canvas size to 1200 pixels and go like that. So it's gonna make the canvas wider. Now what I'm gonna do is move my little logos way over here to the right of that, right in there. Okay, now I'm gonna save it. Remember, we're working with a PSD file, so it's all right in there now. I'm just gonna change the identity plate again. It doesn't auto refresh. When you change the file, you need to go back, select the identity plate again, and I'm just gonna open it up and choose that. Now look what it did. It put it way out here in the middle. So you can effectively make to a point as wide of a file as you want if you for some reason want more information across or you want to move your logo out toward the center or something like that. Generally I prefer just to keep it to the left but that is something you can do if you want. Now I'm just going to undo that, put it back to where it was, save it, go back to Lightroom and once again I'm going to change the identity plate, locate the file, choose it and that will refresh it and there we go, right back to normal. And I'm just gonna close this photo in Photoshop, and because I saved that as a layered PSD, I can come back to it at any time. So just a quick look at using the identity plate in Lightroom 
to get that custom look. All right, take care, guys. Talk soon.